Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a brand new Let's Play on Europa Universalis 4, the Dahama update. So, the update's here, um, at least for the YouTubers it is, and uh, it focuses all on India. Well, of course, on top of its universal fixes, it focuses on India. Now, I don't know who I wanted to, I didn't know, well, I didn't know who I wanted to play. But I wanted to play someone with a skill tree that is, like, you can actually, it isn't just generic. And I believe it's either VJ or Bahamins. And I don't believe I've played a Hindu nation in a long time. So we're going to try Vienegar. Now, yes, it seems a very, it'd be very, it'd be a much easier campaign, admittedly. But for the new system, and as my first Let's Play with the new system, I think it's uh, always worth it. And we get the Vienegar elephant in yellow. So let's just make sure I was right. I was. And this is the reason I picked them. I like, I don't like the idea of having a generic tree when we're doing a brand new DLC Let's Play. It just, it doesn't sit well with me. So the first things first, we can look at, we're going to look at the government reforms. Which is, this is the new government stuff. Essentially, you every so often, or when you reach the next tier, or when you reach a criteria, you open the next tier, and then so on and so forth. But you can change governments at will. It causes, the only difference is it causes corruption. So right now we are the Nyankara system, which gives us a national manpower plus 50%, and vassal force limit contribution plus 100%. We could move to plutocracy, or autocracy, and feudal nobility. Each obviously coming with their bonuses, but this is the government that we were we were given, and um, we're going to stick to it. Now you want, you need, so you can have a reform every so often. So in 14, uh, 1460 is when we get our next reform, which will be noble privileges. So uh, in 1460, we'll of course look into that a little bit deeper. I, I want to keep it on the back burner for now. It's not. The most important. And as you can see, the Great Powers has been made really tiny in comparison. Now, we are, of course, a Great Power. We are Vienegar. Of course, we are a Great Power. We even have a little vassal down here in uh, Japan. So, let's just uh, quickly uh, open all this shit up. And then, there you go. So, on the next on the agenda, we're going to go through these first. Let's go to no current deity. Um, I think early on, we're probably going to be trying to reclaim the cause and uh, push away any um anybody who's not us which is these guys right now i believe we are stronger than them so let's uh we're gonna go for i think the aggressive expansion for now and the core creation actually i kind of like uh ganesha better because of the improved relations though extra money would be nice as well so these are all actually pretty good this has definitely been revamped i believe this is new as well um, ooh, discipline and siege ability, construction cost, interest per annum. I'm not really overly worried about. I don't. I normally try to shy away from that anyway. You know, we'll go for. Um, you know, we're gonna go for Ganesha. I, I'll definitely stick. And I like all of the religions. It stays until um, our leader dies, I believe. I hope. Now the, the policies have been revamped completely. We can have uh, free administrative policies active at the same time. Same with diplo. Same with military. Unfortunately, we have no policies just yet. I don't know why I'm saying unfortunate. Of course, we have none left. We've literally just started. The Empire of China is the same. Now, fleet-wise, I think I'm going to... I mean, I don't really want to pay any money for that just yet. But first things first, we need to set rivals. Vahamins. You know, we'll just set all of these rivals as they, as they are. There is no reason for us not to. Now, finding allies is, of course, going to be quite hard in a nation, in a pretty much a place completely, at this point, pretty much already conquered by the Muslims and Shiites. Now, of course, Shiites and Sunni don't really get on, so we should, we don't have, I don't think we'll have to worry about uh, these guys forming an alliance that's going to offset us or cause us some issues. We also have some room to grow, so of course we're going to. We don't have any cavalry in here yet. We do. And we have managed... Oh, God, yes. Oh, oh yes. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I was, I've been waiting for a system like this for a while. Now, I'm going to quickly uh, get both these armies up to the same standard. I want them both uh, 50. I'm going to say 4. We'll say 4. What's the, uh, the... It's 20 at the moment, so... 
Um, hmm. Yeah, two 14s. That'll be 28. So we've got three to spare. So we'll just get free infantry in this unit. There we go. Okay, so that's that done. Let's go to our navy. Now I'm going to try and play this game on free speed for now uh, with this DL uh, new DLC. Um, I just really want to savor it and try and make this a bit of a longer let's play. See if I can get a little bit more done instead of my usual conquering everything or doing everything late game. So at the moment we're making 1.57. We are going to be losing a little bit more money due to my increase in military. Now the reason we're going to do that is of course to fight the Bahamans. We have a reason to already fight them for cause. And the Bahamians are currently at 19,000 out of 26,000. And they have a vassal who can... Who has 3,000, we have a vassal who has 2. Now I'm going to try and vassal the rest of this island. Purely because I think it would uh, do me better. Uh, you're currently a vassal of... Oh, these guys are a vassal of them, so... Uh, you won't let me vassalize you because of that fact. So we may have to... Yeah, we're going to have to invest in getting you out and vassalized. So I'm actually going to invest in that straight away. Same with these guys. I kind of would rather have them under me. So we're going to invest in getting two of them taken over. Now let's have a little look at diplomacy. Um, ooh, yeah, we've got quite a few allies. Um, I think Malwa makes the most sense. We've got some nice music that's coming along with this uh, DLC, which is lovely. Well, the content pack, that is. Um, so we've got a vassal. I'm going to have you go for defensive right now. Now, they have reworked the estates. So the estates are now useful. Um, their own words, by the way. <laughs> don't have that. Uh, don't make... Don't, 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 yeah, I'm just going to go out. So we have the Brahmins. The Brahmins are the priestly caste of Hinduism. They are the keepers of ceremonies and scriptures. As few non bahamins are educated in Sanskrit literature. I think that's Sanskrit. They uh, command great respect from Hindus and non-Hindus alike, and sometimes take roles in government. Jains. Jainism is no longer a dominant or politically favoured faith in India, but the Jains are far from irrelevant. They have found a niche in moneylending and bureaucracy that makes them an asset to any state that offers their patronage. Or that offers them patronage. The Maharaf... Mahar... Maharafas... Ladies and gentlemen, just letting you know, names in, like, Indian names, I'm going to butcher. I apologize ahead of time. While originally a term applied to all maharaj speaking people, Maharafs have defined themselves as a caste of warriors. The Maharafs are found both in the native home of Maharafsa and beyond, seeking opportunities for distinguished military service. And Vyasas, in Vedic scripture, the Vyasha caste are laborers and agricultural of relatively low status. They have since branched out into more lucrative professions, merchants, craftsmen, men of money. They are the lifeblood of Indian commerce. So these are basically our normal ones. These are basically, they're all basically normal. Other, like obviously a few other things added in there to give them a little bit more use again, quoting the game itself. Um, so I think we should look at, so what's this dude? This mission is... Uh, Rachel Duab sits on the border between Vinagar and the Bahamian Sultanate. If we hope to triumph against them, we must surely be take, begin by taking this fortified province. It wants us to take back our cause. Yeah, so that's uh, something we're definitely going to invest in doing. We have the Tamale Trade Guild. The newly conquered Tamale port cities of the Coromandel coast have the potential to bring great profit to our nation. We are struggling to integrate the local trade guild into the new order, however. We must resolve these disputes before consolidating our rule over the south. So this wants us to have stability of one and a no owned province with the Tamili culture has more than two unrest. Um, I think we've done that. Oh. And 50 autonomy. So currently, I mean, like, after one month tick, that will be true. We just need one stability, which I think we can invest in getting done. Gives us a permanent claim of Vani and Mysore. So let's have a look at those regions. So Vani is down here. Vani and Mysore. Is that the region? Yeah, the region of Mysore and Vani. Mysore area, sorry. 
Um, I do not know where Mysore is. Oh, Mysore is that region there. It's the people I'm trying to vassalize. That's fine. And then we have spoils of war. The seniors of war are infinite money. The money should be extracted from our neighboring states. So all we need to do that is receive war reparations from at least three countries. A very easy thing to do, really. And we've all, oh no, we've also got patronizing the gods. Hindus, Hindus of elite religion practice their faith differently. Each worshipping different but related gods. To show conquered people the benevolence of our rule, we should patronize their deities by constructing temples in their cities. So have eight temples or have a cathedral or cathedrals. The culture is not Canada. And uh, have at least three pro promoted cultures. Very doable. Like the Tamil kingdoms, we will be accepting them as a family relatively quickly. So, with this done, uh, the battle for Raichu is where we're going to be starting, along with the Tamil Trade Guilds. These two we're going to focus on. Spoils of War should come via this, uh, these ones. And patronizing the gods, of course, is going to be a long-term long uh, goal. So we're going to start at 2-speed for now. Finally, get 10 minutes in, we're finally getting somewhere. We've got an alliance. Antara, of course, will definitely strengthen our bond with you. But you, I want you to come home when at war, and, of course, always take any damage to get repaired I don't want you out there getting hurt so who have you made friends with someone up there understandable so on the 11th of December we can just we can declare war of course I'm not going to we have armies to recreate first um, Malwa would attack would help us if we offered them land which I will most certainly do Early on, that's very, very good uh, for me to have. Um, I'm going to Royal Marry my vassal just to keep uh, connections tight down there, or yeah, together down there. Now, for this playthrough, I'm going to try and keep uh, to... I don't know, I, I can't really say to the Indian culture, but I'm going to try and stick either quality or quantity. I'm not going to play both. I'm going to try and play a little bit more, a little different than I normally play. Looks like money is still coming in at a normal rate, even with the increased uh, increased um, use of men. I don't know how we get the ca like uh, the elephants to show up, because I'd like my first army to be elephants as well, because it just looked cool. Now, of course, hey, oh, for a whole second there, ladies and gentlemen, I was happy. Now, if we were to attack you, we would need all three of these provinces at once. Delhi's prince of Kashmir, that's not really a of my concern at this point. Now, so yeah, if we take out the biggest power to our north, we're essentially saying that uh, we won't... We're essentially saying you are our bitch. Accept it. So... I think that I'm going to just... Uh, I am thinking we're going to let this war go straight away. But first things first. I am going to recruit two... Uh... Oh, fuck. Why would I give you the good one? Why would I give you the good one? You have a smaller army. Right. Let's try this. Uh, we'll do the take mud girl. Give you land. There we go. Uh, you're going to be uh, supportive. I'm going to support the weaker, weaker of my armies. Right, let's see how this goes. So right now we have double the men. We've we've got this, ladies and gentlemen. We've got this. If I was to focus their army down, we would probably be done very quickly. For now, however, I'm gonna let them. I'm gonna let them have a little bit of a free reign. If I take this fort quick enough, they won't. Um... Oh fuck! I left Discord open. My apologies, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah, we, they won't be able to really do too much damage. One second, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to tab out. Oh, fuck. I can't do it on my second monitor. Whoops. My apologies, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. So we've got one province. Uh, don't want to move too far away from this army. Because I need to be able to support it um, if, if, if it ever arises. Now, oh, do you have vassals? You do. Oh, this was a very, very profitable alliance for me. Um, they've got a lot more allies than I was expecting. 
going to try and take out this 3k and see if we can get rid of... Uh... No, they're going to run away. So we're just going to siege for now. Let's see how much expensive it would be just for this. Of course, we do need to offer them our ally some land. Uh, that would not be enough, obviously, because they're doing so much for Misa currently. So essentially, we just need to get enough done, enough done that they're not doing a lot for us. Or as much. Again, very doable. Right. Once this is done, I'm going to put the game up to free speed now. We don't need to be on two speed anymore. The introduction is done and we're in, a, we're in our first war. Ah, Malwa was defeated then. That's fine. As long as these guys are defeated, we will uh, be able to get some um, war reparations. I'm going to knock that one off for now just because it's, it's, it's going to cause... It's just going to be annoying for a while. Yeah, currently we've lost every fight purely because my allies are doing a very bad job of helping. They know what helping means. They're just very bad at it, ladies and gentlemen. Like, their vassals doing a great job. Them themselves doing a horrid job. Oh, apparently the Timurids are like... I should have read that. That's, I don't know how if that was a new event. My apologies, ladies and gentlemen. We're very close to having this done. Once we get the once we get forts done, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be very much in the green. Um, yeah, I don't think you'd ever. Yeah, I own your core provinces, so you're never going to be my vassal. So we're going to ignore that one as a uh, option. Yeah, Malwar is doing a horrible job of helping right now. Unfortunately, it does have to be said they're doing a horrible job. I would rather not say that they're doing a horrible job, ladies and gentlemen, if I'm honest, but I call it like I see it. Ah, <sighs> goddammit, Discord. <laughs> My apologies, ladies and gentlemen, again. Oh, it's sped up. Oh, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Our reform sped up. Very interesting. I'm going to move to our second siege of Bidar. Or Baida. I actually don't know which way it'd be pronounced. There we go. Our siege down in Mugdal is done. Essentially, we're very close to getting peace for ourselves. Unfortunately, that does not entail the peace we offered our ally. Uh, we will be able to get these guys out. I, I, wa I wanted to push for a little bit more, but then a white piece. So, but I didn't because it just. Uh, honestly, ladies and gentlemen, I think at this time it was easy. It was safer to just get them out of the war and have less men. Aggravating my allies. Because at the moment, I'm unable to help them. And if I'm unable to help, it's best that they have the weak, less possible, at least possible resistance. Just for now, anyway. My vassals are doing fuck all as usual. I mean, I didn't expect much, but I expected more than this. Now, we're probably going to run out of manpower. Luckily, uh, we can ask for some. Um, it would take... We'd only get 2,000, so hopefully we don't run out of too much manpower. If need, if I need to, I can pull out one of my armies for a while. Of course, it's probably not going to be the safest to do just yet. Uh, the Tamil Trade Guild. Vinar Empire, with its military base in the dry uplands of the Kannada and Telugu-speaking areas... Of the Deccan Plateau, always had a tough time keeping the bustling cities of the southern Tamil country in line. An embassy representing many of the most important Tamil trading guilds has just arrived in our capital demanding that the ancient traditions and right be to be respected. They are not asking for small concessions, but rather expect to hear they can be left more or less to their own devices. Can I check something? No, it wouldn't. We'd. we'd uh. How much? Mm, yeah, they definitely. They definitely. You know, we'll. Uh, we can allow greater autonomy for now. This may kill our economy for a while, but it's an. It's something we can allow. In essence. 
So all we need to do is get these two sieges. Once we have these two sieges under wraps, getting the rest of this war done which should be a piece of cake. Now we are unfortunately losing money because of the situation we found ourselves in. Being over the force limit, of course, not helping. Now I would like to get, say, more. Oh my fucking god. My apologies, ladies and gentlemen. Luckily, we're at the end of the part. So in the next part, I'll continue to strategize. I do apologize about the very quietness of this. I'm recording this just basically before I go to bed. So I, and I'm not currently my mum still, so I do apologize. I'll see you guys in the next part. If you remember, if you did enjoy the series, please tell me why and uh, what you'd like to see in the future. I'll see you guys then.